I'm Camille and I'm with the Eat the Food team at the 5th Annual Pigeon Peas Festival at Corbin Road in Diego Martin. This is a community-based festival that is highlighting pigeon peas and the different ways you can use pigeon peas in your goods and in your products. So please, come with me while we check it out. We are with Miss Joseph at the Pigeon Peas Festival. Miss Joseph is one of the organizers and she's here to give us some overview and insight into this Pigeon Peas, the start of the Pigeon Peas Festival and how can Pigeon Peas be used in different ways. The Pigeon Peas Festival started when we were, tr we were getting training in it to be an NGO, mm -hmm. yes? And we had to come up with something that was, that was unique mm -hmm. to our surrounding, yes? And Pigeon Peas has a history in Digo Martin, yes. in, in that in the hills, mm -hmm. you, have, you had a lot of our foreparents did a lot of planting of the Pigeon Peas. Peas. And Pigeon Peas, by the way, is one of the crops that said that you need, you don't have to give it that sort of attention. It can or grow it, in a yes. dry area. Right. Yes, I understand that. Right. So we decided to revive the whole idea of planting the Pigeon Peas. And, and by planting the pigeon peas, we'd create a space for persons to, 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 to take part and to develop into whatever business they want to do. So it's really know. pigeon peas innovation. Yes. Taking the product, because when we see pigeon peas, I'm thinking stewed pigeon peas at Christmas time. Yes. You know, that lovely bowl. Mm -hmm. I know about curry pigeon peas. Pigeon yes. peas in a pilau is yeah. so important. Oh, yes. A oh, pilau yes. is, well, one yeah. of our national dishes. Of course. But of so course. tell me, like, how <coughs> people have used pigeon peas in this festival? You see real creativity, you know, in terms of what pigeon peas can do. Mm. For example, one of the first things that jump out at me is the pigeon peas ice cream. Oh. I mean, if you taste the pigeon peas ice cream, it's something else. Yes. You have wine, you have pigeon peas lasagna. I mean, you have pigeon peas cake, you have pigeon peas muffin. So you have a variety of things that you, we make with pigeon peas. I know that for the persons, you know, in the community, they look forward to this event because the Pigeon Peas Festival is about the only event that really happens in Coveen. Outside of, let's say, people gather, you know, probably for a party or birthday celebration or something like that. Mm -hmm. so, so they look forward and they participate, That's you know, right. in whatever way. So it's a community. It a, is. A, a, involvement it is, in the community. It is, certainly. That's it very is. important. Yeah. So the Pigeon Peas Festival in Trinidad and Tobago is a community-based festival in Corvine and it is highlighting using plants that the ancestors have used yes. and grown and yes. it's been taken by the future generation in a different way yes. in which it could be innovated into different products and mm -hmm. goods. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Miss Joseph for telling us about the Pigeon Peas Festival and we look forward to see what it has. Yes. Again. Please do hi everyone look we have pigeon peas roti this is pigeon peas kurma imagine that a sweet a delicacy take pigeon peas and make it into a kurma peas pastels this is a good way if you want to have a vegetarian option, many persons now are not eating meat and you can take pigeon peas and use it as a filling. Hi guys, this is pigeon peas lasagna and the filling is made with pigeon peas, a great vegetarian option. <laughs> yes, I think it's really good. It's lasagna, it's made to prep your lasagna to, to give it the start. You use a pasta sauce at the bottom. That's what you lay your pasta sticks on. From there, you use ricotta cheese. That's the white cheese you see in here. Layer it with your pigeon peas and then you top it with mozzarella. Well, I love lasagna. So this is a really good vegetarian lasagna and a good option to have. Hi, so here we have a vendor that has taken pigeon peas to a baked level. So she has her pigeon peas bread, there's pigeon peas pastel, there's even a sample size of pigeon peas wine. 
and here she has it in different sizes from medium to large and she also has pigeon peas muffins right here we have pigeon peas of the cam so it is also a different way in which we could use pigeon peas and highlight it in different products oh my word this is really good like a pigeon peas version to coconut ice cream so when you think of pigeon peas you think of pigeon peas in a one of our favorite trinidad and tobago dishes which is palau so here we have a vendor who's doing a chicken pigeon peas palau and a pigeon peas fish palau so this is it right here and it's going to taste delicious i'm sure mm. I love a dry pilau and sometimes I like a wet pilau. So pilau for me is about being a mixture between dry and wet. So at this booth, these ladies made acro balls with pigeon peas flour. So when we think of acro balls, we think of flour normally fried. So they took the salt fish and fried it in pigeon peas. And this is pigeon peas acro. Mmm, you don't taste a difference in a sense it tastes like regular acro, just made with pigeon peas flour. Pigeon peas dumplings with stewed pigeon peas, which is the way that we all love to have pigeon peas, and with some salt fish. So good options in how to have your pigeon peas in dishes. So you could have a pigeon peas dumpling, stewed pigeon peas, and pigeon peas, well, with your salt fish. Saturday for me is a soup day. There's nothing better than a soup on a Saturday. And these ladies at this booth has a pigeon pea soup. Not only do they have pigeon pea soup, but they also have a pigeon peas pigtail soup. Corn soup. And corn soup. Make sure they've included their corn soup. They also made their fry bakes with pigeon peas flour. So they have a delicious, unique way of having your bacon shark. But instead of using regular flour, we are using our pigeon peas flour. A healthy alternative for it to your fry bake. All you're missing here, a little pepper. Touch the pepper from here. Pepper! Just touch me with a little pepper, please. What you're talking about, and you attract me too. Oh gosh! So, some of us like it hot. We have had all the various different dishes with pigeon peas. And the favorite type of meal, or how you have to end, is with dessert as usual. So these people have made or incorporated pigeon peas into their fudge. Passion fruit and pigeon peas. Mm. This is really good. Punta crown and pigeon peas. A definitely a good twist. So when we think of pigeon peas, we think of pigeon peas as savory. But these vendors here have shown that pigeon peas can be used in desserts and to make fudge and it could be a sweet item. At the fifth annual Pigeon Peas Festival, we have seen the ways different vendors have incorporated pigeon peas into their dishes from sweet to savory. So I look forward to seeing you all at the 6th Annual Pigeon Peas Festival. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel at Eat a Food TT, our Instagram page and Facebook. Till next time.